Jane Goodall joined the USC faculty in 1991 as an honorary faculty member. Uh, and with that came an affiliation between USC and Gombe National Park, the site in Tanzania where these famous chimpanzees Jane had studied for many decades live. The Jane Goodall Research Center is primarily dedicated to, to studying great apes in the wild and trying to understand more about human evolution and human nature from the study of great apes. Now you become a scientist because you're fascinated by these uh, evolutionary and behavioral questions. And the place to study them is in the natural habitat where these wild apes live. So to get to do that and get to do it in a place as famous as Gombe with those animals is just a really, really rare thing. So now some of my own graduate students have the opportunity to do this. And Robert O'Malley is the first such student from USC who's been able to go out and begin his doctoral uh, thesis research on an aspect of chimpanzee behavior, uh, which is their relationship with some of the insects they eat in their environment. The image of sort of chimpanzees probing into termite mounds to pull, to pull out termites um, is one of the things that Jane Goodall discovered very early on in her work at Gombe. Um, and it's kind of an iconic image of you know, what chimpanzees do and what happens at Gombe. There are some ideas that have been floating around for many years about why they choose to eat certain species over others. Those are the kinds of questions that I'm, I'm trying to address with my research. It's really incredible to know that these animals are, are allowing us to sort of participate in their world. There are many times where you'll sort of be sitting on a trail or sitting on a rock, focusing on some chimps um, ahead of you, and you might hear a cough or something behind you, and there's a chimp on the trail. Um, very, very calm, very, very comfortable, you know, sitting right there, um, resting or, or watching you perhaps, uh, or just kind of doing your own thing. Um, so that's uh, very, very exciting and humbling, and it's an incredible privilege, it's very enjoyable, um, which for me is, is uh, ultimately what we're hopefully trying to do, is to sort of get more insight into human beings as biological organisms.